Hello everyone and welcome to your introduction to proofs. Um, this will just kind of help give us a head start so that we have the idea of what a proof looks like and get two theorems under your belt that we'll be able to use straight away in class. So let's take a look. So we have two things that we're able to use in proofs. One's a theorem, which is a mathematical statement that can be proved, which we'll work with two today. And the other one's a postulate, which is a mathematical statement that we accept without proof. And we'll get a couple of those throughout the year, but today we're just gonna focus on two different theorems. So theorems are really helpful in the proofs because they're really shortcuts. And if you don't use them, you'll have to make many, many more statements and your homework's gonna get really long. The two column proof tries to organize your ideas so you can confidently get to the stated answer. And with the theorems, you're able to use the theorems as tools to get you to that final answer. And again, not having to prove it every single time. The way all these proofs work, you'll be given some information and tells you what you want to prove in the end, and you've got to fill in all of the middle, making logical statements and steps along the way. So these are some things that we already know. If two angles have the same measure, then they are congruent. If two segments have the same length, then they are congruent. If an angle has a measure of 90 degrees, it is a right angle. And if an angle has a measure of 180 degrees, it is a straight angle. We're gonna use some of these in our proof of the theorems. So we're gonna, you know, like I said, prove a couple theorems that we'll be using a lot and it'll kind of get you to see what this process is going to look like. So our first theorem is if two angles are right angles, then they are congruent. So here's a diagram. We have angle C and angle D. We are given that angle C is a right angle and angle D is a right angle. We want to prove that our angles are congruent. Now we don't have the proof of the theorem yet, so we're gonna get that underway. So that way in the future, if you see this, you'll be able to jump to that conclusion right away. So I've already filled out the proof for you. This is what a proof will look like. We'll have our statements column and our reasons column. First statement, something that we are given. Angle C is a right angle. Reason, it was given to us. Same thing with angle D. You always want to put down your given information first. Then we have said that angle C is 90 degrees. That's the definition of a right angle. That's our reason. Same thing for angle D. And what we're doing there is we're explaining what it means to be a right angle. From there, we can see that 90 is equal to 90. And going off of our previous idea of congruent, we can say that angle C is congruent to angle D because angles of the same measure are congruent. So therefore, our shortcut, we can now say that two right angles are congruent. Again, we don't have to prove that every time, so we can just use that shortcut as we see fit. So theorem number two, if two angles are straight angles, then they are congruent. So we've got a diagram here. The only thing that we're given is the diagram, no statements even. So we want to prove that angle SRT is congruent to angle MRH. So let's take a look. And I've kind of redrawn the diagram up in the corner. So I've got my beginning, I've got my end, I've got to fill in the middle and give myself reason. So I'm gonna start out recalling the fact that in 1.3, we said that we can assume straight angles from a diagram. So I'm gonna do this just that. I'm gonna assume from SRT, from my diagram, that that is a straight angle. So I've got angle SRT is a straight angle. Reason being, I assumed it from the diagram. Okay, I'm also gonna do that for my other line slash angle, and I'm gonna make sure that I use the same order of letters as I have in my proof statement, just like I did for my first one. So I'm going to say angle MRH is a straight angle. I'm 
reason being it's assumed from the diagram. Okay, next up, well, in our problem with the right angles, we defined what it was to be a right angle as having 90 degrees. So let's use that to our advantage here. Let's say that angle SRT equals 180 degrees. Reason being, if an angle is a straight angle, its measure is 180 degrees. Okay. I think you see where this is going. So let's do the same thing with our other angle. So angle MRH equals 180 degrees. Reason being, same thing. If an angle is a straight angle, its measure is 180 degrees. So, I'm finally at my proof statement. I've got two angles that are both 180 degrees. I know from congruence that if two angles have the same measure, then they are congruent. So that's going to be my last statement, or my last reason. If two angles have the same measure, then they are congruent. So, this is the general format of what a proof looks like. Notice how a lot of my statements are in the if-then format, or I could put in a then. So I could put it in a then it's, then it's. So if-then format is going to be kind of our goal for our reasons, just because you have something to back up your statement. You're not just pulling something out of the air because it's convenient. If something is true, then something else is true. So you're going to use that sort of logic to make sure that you have a proof that actually gets you to where you need to go. So in class, we will be using these two theorems. The fact that if two angles are right angles, they are congruent. And if two angles are straight angles, they are congruent. To our advantage, to do a couple practice problems with starting you guys out with proofs. So hopefully this was helpful, and we'll see you in class.